Good afternoon, Sydney Downs and District. I'm Matt here from the Sydney Downs and District Community Association. Um, welcome to uh, the first of the Meet the Candidates or Ask Your Candidates the, the questions you've submitted. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you here today, yeah. Christian. Welcome. Thank you. And uh, this is uh, Anna Miletic. Uh, Anna asked um, one of the questions uh, of Christian and opted to actually ask her question herself. Uh, so, Anna, I'll hand over to you, I'll get you to ask your question self, okay. and then I'll run through the rest of the questions um, that the communities uh, submitted. Okay. Here we go. Thanks, Matt. Hi, Christian. How are you? Uh, you My question is, will you take the initiative to rectify the parking in the Sippy Downs in the Scholars Drive area, especially looking at time parking on opposite the school area um, for the units and for parents? Yeah. Well, thank you, Anna, for the question. Um, as you could probably tell, there's a lot of cars parked behind us right now here on Scholars Drive. You've got 10 minute parking zones, which we've put in. There's half an hour and also um, uh, other parking arrangements for people who want to stay up to an hour and whatnot here in this school zone. I think the issue we've got is that when parents come into this precinct, there's not enough car parking. But one of the key issues people have told me is that it's the traffic bedlam. It's the nightmare. They get stuck in. They can't get out, which means the car parks aren't freeing up. So I've got a plan, I've got it on the books, it's actually designed now. I just need to fight for funding from council. Essentially it extends Scholars Drive into Columbia Street. It's a one-way road proposal. It would be open for an hour in the morning, an hour in the afternoon, five days a week. That's it. I've had a few residents suggest it's not a good proposal. They live right on where the road would be built. But I'm willing to put this to the full community if they think it's a solution to get traffic on a different road and split the traffic up. Happy to look at that. I'm also looking at traffic lights for Scholars Drive, Spring Hill Drive and University Way because as you know the roundabout gets jammed up and Uni Way gets preference. So yeah I'm, I'm keen on the road extensions. In terms of car parking I think we need to put more pressure on the state to say guys what are you doing about parking around the school? Uh, I remember years ago council actually built the car park on Education Queensland land, the one that goes into the school. We spent 350 grand on those projects and the state haven't put any money in. So uh, I think the road's essential if we can get traffic out of Scholars Drive we're, we're halfway there. It, it's a good start. I hope that answers your question. Thank you. So, Anna, thank you for asking no, that question. Um, please yeah. do stay. We've got, we've got a couple yeah. more questions uh, to pose to Christian right. today. So, look, as we uh, publicised, the format today was kind of a very big hint uh, for each of uh, the candidates that have been invited uh, to attend. Uh, and, look, I think uh, Christian's certainly answered that, um, and I hope uh, you guys can take that on board. There's a number of other questions that were submitted. Uh, none of the uh, candidates have had access to these questions, so I'm going to put these forward to you now, Christian. Yep. If you can just let people know, you know what your position is, what you plan to do about uh, yep. these concerns, and uh, that would be fantastic. So I'll leave that with you, okay. rather than All bounce right. the microphone between okay. us. Um, the first uh, of the questions is... Will you vote against the Marucci Forest Glen sand mine when it comes up in council? Okay, very, very good question. And, and I'm sorry, um, viewers out there, it's not a simple yes or no. I need to state for the record that when it comes to protecting the town plan and voting against development applications that people don't like on the Sunshine Coast, like the Sekisui House major um, high-rise uh, proposal for Yurumba Beach, I voted against that. Uh, when they wanted to put a concrete batching plan at Kunda Park, I voted against that. Residents, residents didn't want either proposal. I didn't support them. I've got a lot of concerns about the sand mine proposal, the visual amenity along Murchidor Road, uh, sand particles in the air and, and people breathing them in with asthma, uh, the traffic and trucks on local school routes, that concerns me. Also flooding, that whole site floods right now, so I, I don't know how you're going to get a sand mine operation working there when the site goes underwater every time it rains. So there's a few issues there. Uh, my role's pretty important because I've got town planning as a portfolio. Everyone's looking to me to see where I vote on this. Right now I'll be looking to put the community's views forward at the council meeting which will probably be in the next few months if I'm re-elected so I'll give my position then but right now I'm, I'm bordering on the uh, the cautionary line and that is to represent the community's view and it's going to take a lot of effort from the developer to get me to support the proposal. Fantastic thanks for that. Now the next question that was submitted was it's, it's a very open question mm -hmm. what does community mean to you? Yeah, well, community is all about us all working together. It's about the nastiness stopping on Facebook. It's about us all actually getting off our backsides and pulling, you know, equal weight. It's not just about the council or the state government or your local school principal. It's about just mums and dads out there uh, getting forward and saying, hey, we've got an issue. We're going to work with the council, work with the state government to fix things. It's all about embracing change. And it's too easy for us to sit behind Facebook as keyboard warriors and say, this isn't good enough and we don't like that or we don't like this person. 
it's time we move past that, actually meet together as a local community and talk about what we can do, um, more, more, though, more so than, you know, what we can't. I, I like to work with people. I, I don't really care who you are or what you do. I think I've got to work with you and I expect the same thing from others. So it's about sharing the workload and, and not just pointing the finger at any one individual. It's about a team effort. It always has been. And I never take credit for things myself. It's always a team effort. Okay, thank you. Now, the next question is, what can you tell us about the extension of Claymore Road into the Palmview development? Okay, uh, well, it's probably a lot I can tell you. Uh, okay. well, I, very, I, I mean, I can only, I'm only reading yep. the questions as they were submitted. So. Okay, so, so Claymore Road is being extended. Um, if you go down past the police station, you go on to Claymore Road, you go past Albany Street, Fitzwilliam, before you hook right into University Way. Claymore Road punches straight through into Palmview, into the future community of Palmview, 17,000 people. That is the primary access for people to get into Palmview. After that, they'll have a road to the south, to Caloundra Road, which will get them south to the Bruce Highway. I've also fought with the Community Association to get an access to the Bruce Highway via the Western Service Road. We've got that in the plans and we're pushing very, very hard for the road to be built. My objective is to get as much traffic off Chancellor Park and Sippy Downs as I can because after we spend all this money on trying to fix local roads and we're, we're still spending money, I don't want to make the situation any worse. So Council's building Claymore Road for the developer. It's $9 million worth of road and the developer will pay us back as they develop those lots. So we're taking the initiative to get traffic on Claymore Road before it goes on Spring Hill Drive. And it could have all been on Spring Hill Drive, but we shifted it to Claymore Road with those other road links to come on through to the development. I hope that answers the question. I can clarify those if anyone wants to contact me. Okay, no worries. So the next question is, if elected, would you support the current community website to further engage local residents? Well, that, okay, that firstly is an interesting question and I know we're doing raw interview here and I, I can't consider my thoughts. There's too many community websites in Sippy Downs. There's five or six different ones and there's, there's only a few that do a really good job and they're linked with the Sippy Downs and District Community Association. But there's a few others out there that I, I see no role. There's a lot of negativity. Um, I, I feel that there's just a lot of space for people to get together in a community sense and actually talk about what can be done. You know, talk about the good things, embrace positive relationships. So I don't know if this answers your question, Matt, but I want to see us all go through one channel, uh, you know, get through one website, have everything centralised because it's too hard for me. I don't know about mums and dads out there, but when I have to stalk seven different pages to see what's going on, it makes my job hard. And, and I always miss things because I can't see it all. Yeah. So I'd, I'd support one centralised website and it should be going through the community association. That's just how it should be working. That's my view. I'll probably anger some people with that, but, you know, it needs to be easy for everyone else out there and it's hard enough for me as it is. Okay, thank you. Now, this is, this is a, a separate, it's a reframed question on, on the parking issues here. Um, and I think you've, you've generally covered it uh, in Anna's question. Uh, it was submitted by one of the local business owners. Um, he was unable to make it today, unfortunately. Um, but he is in the, the Chancellor Park shopping complex. And obviously the parking issues around yeah. here have impacted on that heavily. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say, look, if you'd like to add something uh, in relation specifically um, to yep. the shops, that would probably be valuable. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I mean, essentially, it's the, it's the same question, but how it's impacting on, yeah. on local businesses. So. Okay, no, good question. Um, and I'm, tell me if I give you a good answer or a good enough answer. So the shopping precinct's under a lot of pressure because people find it hard to park in this precinct or they don't like the traffic situation, so they park at the shops. I get why they do because it's easy to get a park there usually. Yeah. Um, as long as people are spending money there and, and actually giving back to the shop community and the business community, that's fine. I, I don't see a problem with that. But I've asked the uh, business owners many times if they would like that car park regulated. And they say, well, what does that mean? Well, we could put a time limit in there of 30 minutes or an hour or two hours, whatever they want. Yes. Council can actually come in like they do on Scholars Drive and regulate it. So if business owners want the car parks turned over and if people are abusing that from the university or from the school, we can actually issue infringements and get people to move on. At the moment, they can't do anything. There's just really dry threats about having your vehicle towed. I've never seen a vehicle towed there and it never will happen. It's actually against the law. Okay. If council regulated that space, which we've offered twice now, yes. we could do that tomorrow. The shopkeepers just need to say yes. And today they've said no, but we're happy to help them out. Just invite us in and we'll do it tomorrow. 
Uh, Christian, thank you very much for attending. Yeah. Uh, I think it's it's very valuable that uh, you know each of the candidates uh, take uh, every opportunity they can to engage with the community and then to answer the questions the community has. Uh, we will be airing this video uh, after Sunday to ensure that yep. or each of the councillors elect uh, has an opportunity to come and respond. And uh, again, look, thank you very much for your time. And uh, uh, community, sippy downs. Uh, here's your responses from Christian. Please do watch uh, the responses from the other candidates when we publish them, because uh, at the end of the day, it is your vote that will ensure which councillor gets in, and you know each of them will be delivering uh, their responses to you on on how they'll uh, uh, implement uh, the changes that are needed. So again, thanks, Christian. Sure. Thank you, Anna. Uh, absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.